Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning everyone. So today we will learn about microbiology of fermented food production. So from your opinion, uh, what what is, uh, can you give me example of uh, fermented food? Basically we have um, the most um, popular food uh, in Malaysia. We have kimchi. Okay, we have budu, we have tempe, we have uh, belacan, okay. So, what is, uh, we will go uh, into detail what is um, behind the fermented food production, okay. So, the, uh, the general method of production is the production of fermented food has two related aspects, which is uh, importance of metabolic activities of microorganism during fermentation and the storage of the product and the parameter used during the processing and storage of the product. Fermentation involves exposing raw or starting uh, food materials to conditions that favor growth and metabolism and specific of uh, and desired microorganism, for example. Eh? Uh, when we have, um, let's say we have uh, tempe, eh, tempe, we want to produce tempe. So we ferment, ferment the uh, apa nama ni, uh, soybean with uh, the, the exact um, microorganism, the desired microorganism, so that the, the microorganism will produce tempe and we store the tempe at desired temperature okay uh, food fermentation process uh, can be natural or back uh, back sloping and control we will look into detail uh, into control fermentation the starting material are inoculated with a high population which is uh, 6 to the power of uh, 10 to the power of 6 cells per meal or more of pure culture of single or, or mixed strain uh, or of species of microorganism, which is the starter culture. Large volume of products can be produced with consistent and predictable characteristic each day. Less chance of product failure and foodborne disease since we use the correct starter culture, the chosen starter culture, and more than 300, uh, 3,500 types of fermented food worldwide using um, controlled fermentation. <clears throat> Natural fermentation, eh? uh, the condition of incubation was set to favor rapid growth uh, of the desired microorganism. For example, for example, kimchi lah basically. Uh, we store it. Uh, okay, kena, kita kena tengok what, what, what is the, apa nama ni, the foundation behind production of kimchi itu sendiri. Uh, basically, uh, we want, they produce kimchi, the Korean produce kimchi because they want to preserve the vegetables so that uh, they can have vegetables during the winter. Okay, so, so they, they incubate the, they put the layer, the apa nama ni, mm, chili layers, uh, layer um, dekat apa nama ni sayur tu, cabbage tu okay and then the layer 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 and then they store it uh, underground basically eh, underground so that during the winter they can get uh, they can uh, um, still eat vegetables during the winter okay a product produced by natural fermentation can have some desirable aroma resulting from metabolism of the associated Flora, for example, macam saya bagi kimchi lah, eh, ada bau, budu pun ada bau. It is difficult to produce a consistent characteristic of products since tak semua produk zaman kalau zaman dulu produk tak sama lah, sebab uh, kita tak guna starter culture yang sama, okay? They, they, the, they set the condition so that the desirable microorganism will do the fermentation. Bukan yang kita tambah microbe tu supaya 
fermentation tu jadi eh lain dengan control fermentation so it is difficult to produce a consistent characteristic of products back sloping some product are of successful fermentation are added to the starting uh, material and condition are set to facilitate the growth of microorganism coming from the previous product uh, back sloping selalu kita guna untuk roti lah uh, previous batch kita guna untuk buat Uh, start the culture for uh, current batch, okay? In producing small volume of food product, beside chances of product failure and foodborne disease also high. <clears throat> okay, kita tengok at fermented dairy product, the growth of desired microorganism and the quality of a fermented dairy product are influenced by the composition and quality of the milk used in a fermentation process. Cow milk contain approximately 3.25% protein, 4.8% lactose, 3.9% lipid, 0.9% minerals, trace of vitamin and 87.2% water. So lactose is the main carbohydrate and is present in the solution and lipids are dispersed as globules. Uh, of this different size or in emulsion fat in water the growth of desired micro microorganism can be affected by several components that can either naturally present or enter the milk as contaminants so we also have antimicrobials uh, can induce clumping eh, of starter culture cells and can slow their growth and metabolism so can only cause problem that when raw milk is used sebab tu selalunya kita guna pasteurized milk okay also can contain antibiotics uh, can affect the growth of starter culture some of uh, some can have hit stable protease and lipase from psychotrophic uh, bacteria does the cause product, products defect since the does uh, cause product defect since the enzyme remains stable after heating. Okay, buttermilk, eh? tengok buttermilk uh, is produced from partially skim milk through control fermentation with starter cultures. Product characteristic have pleasant acid taste from acid, lactic acid, high degree of aroma uh, with like uh, uh, effervescence uh, with color with Uh, with white color with smooth thick body and should pour easily so but selain butter, butter milk kalau you guys uh, katalah nak buat resepi tapi tak nak buat satu resepi tapi tak ada butter milk so you can pro, you can produce your own butter milk by using uh, butter milk with addition of um, uh, apa nama ni uh, lemon juice ok dia akan jadi uh, rasa yang sama seperti buttermilk okey genetics uh, strain should not produce inhibitory compounds since uh, again each other but can have antimicrobial activity towards undesirable organisms strains that grow rapidly produce desirable product characteristic and resistant to some phage uh, have been developed okey kita tengok swiss cheese pula made from partially skim milk, cow milk and coagulated with acid adenine. So the genetic rapid production of lactate in la large amount from lactose by lactic acid bacteria and their resistance to phage are important uh, important consideration. Eh? So general uh, cheese making step, we ha we need to pasteurize the the milk first and then we add the starter culture so that the starter culture will produce lactic acid from lactose and then it will form form a clot okay and then uh, ren uh, rena curd or acid curd or acid heat curd will produce okay bila kita tambah renin okay and then we cut the curd and then we heat the curd and uh, weigh and then after that it will uh, after we cut the curd it will produce curd and weigh and then we will separate the weigh and the curd after that we we take the curd for salting hopping and pressing procedure after that we will cure and ripe the cheese <clears throat> okay quality changes during processing or aging of cheese 
So sometimes we add the buttery flavor eh supaya cheese tu lebih sedap. Uh, for example uh, some LAB or citrate uh, produce diacetyl eh so that it can produce buttery flavor. And then I formation which is like this I formation uh, because of CO2 production by by this bacteria eh? and then sometimes we can see a blue vein in cheese which is uh, come from penicillium ro uh, roku 40 uh, bacteria okay okay this is example of a certain cheese we have cottage cheese blue cheese uh, brie swiss baby swiss gouda cheddar sweet Brick, eh, avati, mozzarella, parmesan, dan macam-macam lagi lah. Okay, alcoholic beverages, uh, products dia, for example, we have, we have beers, wines, distilled beverages, and the microorganism, uh, microorganism, uh, that involved in the alcoholic beverages production is yeast lah basically, Saccharomyces cerevisiae and some lactic acid bacteria. Uh, desirable uh, or, uh, or, or desirable or undesirable depending on the products basically. Eh? Okay, so we have wines, we have natural wine, dry, slightly sweet, sparkling, uh, dessert and appetizers wine, for flavor specialty wine, sherry, sweet wines, eh? depends on the use of the wine itself. So in wine making, uh, we have uh, we must crush the grapes to obtain the juice, which is called must. And then we had we add in uh, SO two depends on the wine, and then anti browning agent since that uh, apa nama ni um. Grapes too tend to brown, browning, inhibit, uh, and then inhibit growth of undesirable microorganism. And then we do the fermentation, inoculate the with active yeast culture one to five percent, and then we incubate at seventy to uh, eighty five percent, uh, eighty five degree Fahrenheit, and then salai, and then racking, aging, and filter, and then bottling. So this is the traditional traditional way of making a mass. Uh, so the crush, the the other much of um first harvest punya festival, eh, what which is they crush the the grapes using the the feet and then the same menari lah kat sini, eh, and then the filter the 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 juice and then proceed to fermentation process. So this is uh this is the example of uh modern technique of uh apa nama ni uh wine making. First we have the crusher, and then we have the fermentation process, and then we have the press, the tank, and then we barrel it in the uh, we store it in a barrel, and then filter, and then bottle and then aging so the the wine itself the price of the wine depend of the aging punya apa nama ni uh, term lah basically eh lagi lama so ni lagi mahal lah eh so fermented meat products such as we have semi dry sausages summer sausage lebanon so bologna dry sausages we had hard salami, pepperoni, okay, and also we have Asian fermented food such as uh, soy sauce, fermented soybean sauce, okay, miso, eh, miso, miso soup, fermented soybean paste, kita letak soy, uh, fermented soybean paste in the uh, soup, we have tempeh, fermented soybean, sufu from China, fermented soybean, natto from Japan, Lao Chao from Lao Chao. Ah, betul aku saya sebut fermented rice, tape ketan, tape ketan. Is it? Uh, tape ketan, fermented rice, angka uh, fermented rice and on on jam from Indonesia, fermented peanut pancake.
and also we have um, uh, fermented cereal products such as bread, crackers, pretzel, eh? uh, and then we also have um, uh, vinegar, eh? microorganisms such as astrobacter and gluconobacter which produce uh, ST acid from ethanol and also we can use ST acid for preservation. Eh? We also have um, chocolate, eh? chocolate seed of cacao tree, naturally occurring microbes. We have yeast, bacteria such as lactobacillus and acetobacter and also uh, so this chocolate will undergo fermentation this not chocolate the seed of cacao tree will go un, under fermentation to, to become chocolate okay so what you what i want you to do today is uh, it is a very short uh, apa nama ni lecture basically for this topic what i want you to do today is answer the question and then uh, uh, discuss it in padlet during the you can do it today or during uh, on Wednesday since that Wednesday we don't have online class. We only have a uh, Padlet uh, activity for this uh, question. I want you to do to, I want you to, uh, I want you guys to answer in um, group. Eh? Uh, you can, you can uh, group in um, using your apa nama ni? assignment group. Senang lah basically using your assignment group so you can answer the question i will create the padlet punya activity and you guys can answer it on wednesday okay so i see you guys on padlet activity during wednesday okay that's all from me uh, for today thank you class